Hi, my name is Darvin Kendall. I'm the president of the Burlington School Board. On September 10th, resident voters of the Burlington Community School District will have the opportunity to cast ballots in a special election seeking permission to increase the voter-approved physical plant and equipment levy to support the expansion of the Aldo Leopold Intermediate Schools Auditorium and to create a performing arts center while freeing up existing voter-approved physical plant and equipment levy funds to support building security measures throughout the district. One of the more frequently asked questions we have received about the proposed expansion has to do with location. So why wasn't an auditorium included in the high school renovation project? The addition of an auditorium at the high school had been considered during the planning phase of the BHS renovation project, but estimates made in 2022 put the cost between $22 and $23 million for the construction of an 800-seat auditorium and over $30 million for the construction of an 1,100-seat auditorium. The cost of expanding the auditorium at Aldo Leopold is estimated to be, be around $8 million. That's about three times less than the projected costs of the new auditorium at BHS. There's also the matter of location. Aldo's layout makes it ideal for the expansion as there are no homes immediately behind the school and basketball hoops in the expansion zone can easily be moved. Hi, my name is Brian Bross and I serve as a director on the Burlington School Board. So I'm here today to talk about what impact this measure will have on voter property tax if approved. The question on the ballot seeks permission for the district to levy up, up to an additional $0.67 cents per thousand dollars of assessed property valuation for a period of six years. Currently, the school district's voted PEPL is $0.67 cents per thousand of assessed property valuation. Voter approval would allow the district to increase that levy to no more than $1.34 per thousand dollars of assessed property valuation. To help put this into perspective, this increase would be the equivalent of about $30 per year, one pizza per year, or less than a coffee a month at your favorite coffee house for a $100,000 home. It's important to note that the actual amount levied could be revisited each of those six years and it could be lower, but it would not be able to exceed the approved amount. It's also worth noting that since 2015, Burlington Community School District total property tax rate has decreased, went down $3.18 per thousand dollar valuation from $15.43 down to $12.25. That's in the right direction. So how does the Burlington School District's voter approved PEPL compare to that of other Iowa school districts? Well, I'm glad you asked. 85% of Iowa school districts have a voter approved physical plant equipment levy, and more than one third of those districts have rates of $1.34 per thousand dollars of assessed valuation. Hi, I'm Deborah Hatterberg. I've been a member of the Burlington School Board since 2015. I also was a music educator in the district for 33 years and former director of the Shaka Khan Children's Choir. I always thought it was so important for my students to have an experience in a real auditorium when they were performing. And even as an elementary teacher, took my upper grade students to the auditoriums of Horace Mann and uh, Oak Street so that they could have that experience. Why the expansion? The district currently is without a performing arts center. The existing spaces at Edward Stone Middle School and Aldo, where concerts, plays, and musicals are he held, were built as junior high auditoriums for things like assemblies, and therefore lack desired stage size acoustics, set design room, and adequate lighting and seating. Hi, I'm Will Vance. I'm a member of the Burlington School Board. What will the expansion entail? Plan work would transform Aldo's Auditorium into a performing arts center with improved stage presence and acoustics, as well as increased seating that will bring the capacity from 503 up to 700 and improved accessibility. The expansion would be along the current auditorium's southern wall. This would allow for seating to be installed up to about the end of the existing stage, which would be moved back further into the expanded space. Other features of the expansion project include the addition of a stagecraft area, spotlights, a sound booth, and a concession stand. We hope you'll join us uh, for an open house on Tuesday, September 3rd at 5 p.m. 
at Aldo to check out plans for the project, see existing space, and chat with district representatives. There will be renderings there so you can see what it looks like and lots of people to answer questions. Thank you.